stopped us asking for tickets, especially to see that man, Clyde Drexler, in the last five games. He has averaged just about 34 points a contest. For one in the NBA, shooting better than 52%, and we are underway. Interesting. Scotty Pippen and Percy jumping against each other, the small ball. Let's for Chicago, and there's our first turnover. Get the tape run, and here it comes. Michael I give that about a five. Back in the form after being injured. Inside, Jordan will be hammered by Williams. Forwards playing guards and vice versa. They can't run the ball back down the floor. They'd like to keep the ball out of Porter's hands. Drexler cut off. Now Williams. Let's have a one-point advantage early here in the first quarter. Drexler for three. Nothing but nylon. Has a strained groin. Pippen misses the jam. The rebound falls into the hands of Duckworth. Drexler looks right, goes left. Percy. The alley-oop to Jordan with the right hand. Michael looks like uh, something happened to him early in the ball game. Another eye contact play. You know, you cannot allow Michael Jordan to reverse you. I know that sounds simple. That is Michael Jordan getting some treatment from the Chicago trainer. They sprayed some ethyl chloride on there. Now they're putting in a bandage. And uh, with six points and four rebounds, Michael a little sore and tender in the back. Now, this is where we think he heard it. Ron, I, after he made this play right here, it looked like he pulled up and was holding his back. He penetrates. Now, watch him as he hangs in the air here. And I think when he does this, he sort of strains his back. See the way he arcs backwards there? I think that's where he heard Robinson his back. Robinson trying to shake Grant. Sets the pick for Drexler. Mm, oh, what a what pass. A what a pass, and Williams can't finish. Well, he's got big hands, he's got good vision, and, and he can hang in the air. <laughs> Three great qualities. I mean, what an uncompromising position to get yourself in and then bail yourself out. Horace Grant, Grant did a good job. <laughs> well, Grant makes the defense for Chicago. They make him do an awful lot. Drexler hits the outside, tracing him. B.J. Armstrong's played very well here early in the season for Chicago. Horace Grant, a little spin oh, move. They're grasping and groping right now to get something to work. Jordan with the rejection. Well, if they can find him here, he can go right over the top of him. Takes the step up. The rookie bites the move, and Jordan drains it. Right, so Scotty Pippen was not ready to check in. I'll have to wait till the next dead right. ball situation. Wouldn't let him in. Here comes Jordan over Drexler. The high archer as Duckworth goes for the block. Just touch with him here. Get down 10 or 12 points. They're going to be in trouble. But Livingston no longer limping. Drexler pushes Livingston out of the way. His 11th appearance this year. That's a big shot. They need that one. Drexler's the only guy that's shooting with any confidence outside. Drexler on Jordan. Jordan doesn't try to drive. Oh, short. Drexler didn't block him out. He leaked out. He gave up two points. You can't let Michael Jordan get his own missed shot, and that's what Drexler did that time. Cost him two points. Jump shot. Drexler leaked out. Michael Jordan follows his own shot. Five minutes left in the first half. Ten-point Chicago lead. Jordan. Count it. Jordan. I think Jordan feels it tonight. 16 points, 10 here in the second quarter. Paxson set to check into Chicago's lineup. Jordan having a field day from the outside. Let us all have a bad back, Michael. No kidding. 18 now for Jordan, who's averaging 31.3 on the year. Drexler. Jordan whistle for the foul. King with 10 points. That's the last five games he has been in double figures. Drexler tries the tip. How about the second time? Clyde gets it. Drexler, Porter coming off a staggered double screen on the other side. Jordan stays with Drexler with the spin move. Count it. They're just about even. That's the game clock, lower right hand portion. And Abdelabi. You know, interestingly enough, Chicago, again, it comes on health and how well you're playing going into the playoffs. For both teams. Shot clock at 10. Grant just spins right around from Kersey. Fans yelling, pick it up, pick oh. it up. Oh, oh, wide open. Now Michael Jordan jumped in the passing lane that time to get the steal as Porter came Purdue. up. Purdue comes up with a loose ball. And he throws it in the hands of Drexler. Three on two. Drexler and Jordan, and Jordan has three personal fouls. Michael Jordan is third personal. Second foul. 13. In case you're wondering, Michael Jordan is only fouled out of one ball game. Right back with Stacey King, so Will Purdue only plays about the first two minutes of the quarter. 
outside Jordan. Jordan. And he still has a look on his face, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, he does. He jump shot. So that's the importance of him being able to shoot the outside jump shot, as you're going to see right here. From outside, again, the net. Up top to Williams. Alley oop to Drexler. He got behind Jordan. That pass was almost a little too short. Drexler got it below the rim and had to muscle it up. Shot clock at five. Shot clock at two. Oh, oh my, what a move by Michael. Michael Jordan just with a tremendous play. He let the ball never left his hand. Watch. Well, what the referees are going to say here is that he was in the act of shooting, and with the bump, he couldn't get the shot off. Oh, I think that's... He had a lot of chance to get the shot off, I'm afraid. And Michael gets the second. 22. When in doubt, go to Michael Jordan. Paxson from 22. He drains on Paxson. He will bury that open jump shot. Tough Rex shot. Lawyer. Oh, from behind the backboard. He was in the $60 seats on that one. Ron, that was a tough shot. Oh, my goodness. Michael's got three fouls, and with Pippen with a knee problem, that would be really big if they could get this foul on him. Shot clock at one. Drexler backs off on Jordan. Between the legs, the shot blocked. We've got a foul. Robinson. Michael Jordan exploding on the baseline. Here comes Cliff Michael Robinson. Jordan, right above the uh, arena. He says, Tommy, look at this. Look at this. Ball game. Michael makes this. They're down four. They need to execute. Jordan, baseline, little acrobatic move. Robinson with the loose ball. Here comes Drexler. Levingston puts the right shoulder into him. And that's two of four from the line. His free throw's a little flat. 80% from the line for this year. Tied at 73, Jordan unties it. Order, unpacks it inside to Drexler. Jordan, his second block. That's his fourth foul, too. That's a big play right there. Michael Jordan picks up his fourth foul. Will go to the line. Excellent pass here by Terry Porter. No look over the top. And then here's the foul on the wrist. Michael stays in. Grant now up off Chicago's bench. Of course, will probably come in for Michael. He will score points for the Trailblazers. Pack is in. Duckworth was looking the other way as Pack passed it to him. Ainge clears. Michael must go with him. He makes the pass too soon. Williams picked up his fourth personal foul for Chicago. <laughs> Pack pick on Jordan, who comes over for the double team, and it's a successful one. To Armstrong. Oh, he'd use his body. Nice. Jay Armstrong here. You see Buck Williams holding the basketball. College basketball. Chicago knocking the ball loose. Beautiful bounce pass from Michael Jordan, and he does a nice job here. BJ taking the ball to the other side of the basket, shielding himself. It's a bread butter play. Screen roll, diving Buck Williams to the basket. As it's slotted away, good clean block, and then Pippen comes up with a loose ball to Jordan. Showtime, folks. Jordan missed his last six field goals, and he breaks that with a slam. Well, oh, that's a big play right there. The block shot that could have led to two points. Chicago picks it up and goes the other wow. way. On the double team, Williams kicks it to Drexler. Shot clock at nine. Drexler oh, forces shot. the jumper. He didn't call backboard. Oh, what, a, what a great <laughs> shot. That was the degree of the difficulty was yeah. about 10 on that shot. Scotty Pippen all over it. Jordan. Stolen by Porter. He has Jordan to beat. Pippen coming from the left side. He misses, but Drexler is there for the follow. Portland by one. And then Michael Jordan on penetration. Double team, the ball is kicked loose. Porter picks it up. Jordan and Pippen track him down. They force a difficult shot. And there is Drexler. He has 29 points, 10 rebounds, and two assists. Pippen has been on Drexler the last couple of possessions. Oh, what a move. What a move. Oh, we talked about how he has carried this team the last few games. And that continues. Well, Scotty Pippen was upset. No one came over to give him help as Drexler leaned in. There was no one there to help him out. And Porter comes off a staggered double screen on the other side. Drexler, King falls down. Drexler takes it strong. Jordan inside, loses 
the handle. Chicago has it. Jordan doesn't get the call, and he doesn't like it. Jordan is trying to create all kinds of contact here as he goes to the basket. He jumps into the air. Clyde Drexler's got all ball. Now he gets hit in the head. Portland and two in a row. Jordan loses the handle. Shot clock at four. Furious Steve Jordan doesn't get it. What a rebound. Takes oh. it back out to Jordan. There's the three. Armstrong. The three. Count it. B.J. Armstrong. What a shot. Furious defense. Portland does everything except rebound the basketball, Ron. Forced a shot here by Michael Jordan. Now watch Pippen. No one blocks him out. He kicks it back to Michael. The penetration. Here's Porter giving help. That leaves B.J. Armstrong alone behind the three-point line, and that's what I talked about, the three. Ron, they're going length to the floor, so I have to think they're going to use some time on the clock. They're not going to go for a quick one. About an 11-second difference between the shot and the game. That is the game clock, lower right-hand portion. Oh. Jordan slaps. Drexler, Rick Adelman, came unglued. That would have been Jordan's fifth. Quarter screen roll. Shot clock at five. Kersey from outside doesn't get it. Ball tipped around. Grant has it. Ten seconds left in the ball game. Got to go with it. There's only five seconds. I don't think Scotty knows the time. He doesn't know it. Jordan with two. Oh my Jordan goodness. with one doesn't get it. We're into oh. overtime. What kind of Sh possession was that? Shades of Derek Harper and the Mavericks a few years ago. I don't think Pippen realized. Now he's talking to Horace Grant saying, "What's the deal?" Starting five for the Blazers in. I think if Terry would have taken a shot from originally, because Armstrong thought he threw it up. 33 points. Boy, that was that, that hurt the back board. Missed them both. Whoa. Back and forth. Put the playground shoes on. King strong to the hole. Pippen's tip will go. <laughs> Which team is going to be standing at the finish? Whoa! Showtime and they throw it away. My goodness, a little too much French pastry. And we're going to have a timeout. Time Phil Jackson has seen all he wants to see. <laughs> uh, uh, Got to clean the board. Order on Jordan now. The double team by Kersey. Jordan strong move. Now they're right back to where they were. 33 for Jordan. Tied at 103. Porter from 16. He drains in the basketball game. Rick Adelman is up. The crowd is up. Jordan, the acrobatic move. He doesn't get it. Porter walked with it. And will go the other way. Good call by Mike Mathis. The question is, when Terry Porter caught that ball, see if they take the foul. Almost a good defensive play by Drexler. Got to take the foul. He tried to foul Jordan, not on the shot. No oh. basket. Armstrong packs and spotting up for three-point shots. To Jordan for the tie. Jordan at the buzzer with 1.2 left. Called a foul, too. There's a foul call. The basket's good, and it's a foul. Called a loose guy. ball foul. At first, Mike Mathis said two free throws. Chicago out of timeouts. Portland just took one. Let's see. Watch age. Lower right hand portion, right? Well, Scotty right Pippen there. throws him down. There's the foul. Yeah. Seven foot five, 237 pounds of him. Williams to Porter. Throws it up at the buzzer. It won't go. We're going to another overtime. Jaminy Christmas. Not up at 105. We were knotted up at 99 at the end of regulation play. Six points for both teams in OT. Michael Jordan with 35 points leading the way for Chicago. Four extra periods before the Bulls won. 156-155 back in March of 84. Let's hope it doesn't do that. Drexler for two. 91. They lost to Boston. Williams battling Duckworth. Jordan the trigger. The basket. Boy, Drexler's got to be very careful right now. Grant, the turnaround, rattles it home. Two minutes to go. A three-pointer would put him up five. Shot clock at three. Pippen lets it go, and he drains it, and it is a four-point Chicago lead. He's a little shot clock. Michael Jordan with a penetration. Kersey comes over to give help. Duckworth a little late in getting over. Now it's a cat and mouse game. Chicago showing poise. Jordan with six. Nails it home, and that might be it. 
Rick Adelman needs a timeout. He trails by six, 115 to 109. Well, Michael Jordan with the isolation. He's going to take his time, set him up. He's going to go baseline and pull up. He sees the double team coming. He spins away from it. Drexler too tired to even jump. He has five personal fouls. Shot clock at five. Pippen for three. Jordan the foul oh, doesn't get it. Portland's still alive. They've got Drexler coming out on the left side. There he is. Ooh, he wanted that three. Point. We'll do those kind of things to you as Drexler misses another free throw again. I'm... That one is a line drive. Watch Scotty it... Pippen going back door here. Jordan almost walked with it. The two by Jordan in and out. No good. Rebound. Pippen fights for it. Portland has it. Duckworth all alone. The Drexler. Wow. And that may not do him very much good, though, because they're still down by one with 8.2 left. Got a foul. Got a foul. Now, see, Drexler's got to give the foul. He's out of the game. Out of the game. That is six for Clyde Drexler, and he will have to sit down with 38 points. Now, I ask you there, Ron, do you take that quick two like that or, or that long pass and you try to shoot a three-point shot? I don't know. Well, there was nobody down there. I know. I'm surprised Drexler didn't pull back That's out. That's what I'm saying. The three. It's, a, it's a horse shot for him. Boy, Clyde here Drexler had a sensational game. Michael I mean, misses the shot here. Pippen over the back to try to kick the rebound loose. Percy now, or excuse me, Porter throws ahead. Now, no one down the floor. He's so far inside the three-point line. Yeah, I'm he sure he, could, he wouldn't have had a chance to do that. So that's very, very unfair to Clyde. I'll take right. that back. Jordan on the breakaway, but he holds it up, and he is going to be fouled by Kersey. Three off. So. He's only missed one of eight. Make it one of nine. Michael misses. And here we go, folks. We're going to watch it with you. Porter, he's not going to count because the horn sounded. It took too long, never got the shot off, and Chicago has won their 11th straight ball game, their first win here in Portland since March of 89. And a happy and tired Chicago Bulls team walk off the court, and it's, the game is all over. And Chicago wins their 11th straight, the final 116 to 114.